Hello, and welcome back to the channel, where we learn fun things about Swift, Swift UI, Xcode, and everything related to developing for Apple's platform. If you're new here, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button so that you're always up to date with all the new videos that I put out. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the new entry macro that we get with Xcode 16. The coolest thing about the entry macro and why I wanted to do a video on it is the fact that we can use it even if we don't target iOS 18 or newer. So that means that your current projects can actually leverage at entry whenever you want, once you start using Xcode 16, basically. I'll dig right into a demo where I show you the problem that entry solves, what it is, and how we can use it real quick. This is going to be a short one, so buckle up. So as you can see on the screen right here, what I have is a date formatter key, which we add to the Swift UI environment so that we can actually put a date formatter in the environment to use in our Swift UI views. I'll show you how it's used in a moment. Let's first talk about what's here, because it's, it's code that I always forget how to write I always kind of have to copy and paste it from elsewhere because it's just, there's a lot of boilerplate here and it's, it's, it's not good. It's, I don't like this syntax at all. So what we have here is the date formatter key that I've defined and it conforms to the environment key protocol. The environment key protocol requires me to add a default value whenever we try to read this from the environment. So here I just make a date formatter instance and whenever we try to read our date formatter from the environment and we didn't overwrite it, this is the date formatter that we'll get. Then I also have to add an extension to environment values, which allows me to get the date formatter. So this variable name right here is going to be the key that's used to, to pull our date formatter from the environment. And we have to define a getter and a setter that we um, use to actually just take our date formatter key type and pull our date formatter from the environment. It's really, I don't, I don't like this at all because it's so repetitive. It's easy to forget how this works, but there's really nothing special here. The only code that's kind of interesting or that's relevant is, is this right here, the date formatter definition itself. So using the current status quo uh, to, to take our date formatter from a Swift UI views environment looks a little bit like this. So define a struct sample view that conforms to Swift UI's view protocol. And I'll grab my object from the environment. So that's at environment slash dot date formatter, which is the key that I've used. It's the variable name that I've defined here. I can give it my own variable name in here for formatter, for example. And we of course have to define a view body. All right, so uh, I just put a text here for hello world. Right, so that's kind of how we can use our, our environment object. And I don't like this stuff, right? This is the stuff that entry actually makes a lot easier. So let's refactor this code to use the entry macro instead of the date formatter, uh, instead of the environment keys that we're using before. To do this, we still have to define an extension on environment values, but we apply the entry macro. We say entry var date formatter which is of type date formatter, and we'll provide our default value here. So we'll actually take this code, put it there, get rid of this, we can get rid of this, and when we compile now, everything still builds just fine. So this cleaned up our code by a lot, and the entry macro is what does that. Now, if you're curious what the entry macro expands into, we can actually uh, use Xcode to expand our macro. And we can see that it adds all this boilerplate that we had before, um, and we don't have to write it. So the get and set are still there, still using a key.self like before, and it's defining a private struct inside of the environment values that provides the default value for the environment key protocol. Right, so this code right here turns into the old code at compile time, but we don't have to write the old code anymore, which is much better. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're able to use entry soon. As soon as you start using Xcode 16, it will be available. Um, but before I wrap up, it's actually good to know that the entry macro also works for things like focus values. Right, so everything that's similar to the environment in SwiftUI actually works with 
entry. So focus value are also functional here. With that, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.